All right, we're on. So uh, the main reason I'm making this video is the last one that I had made, uh, I didn't really talk much about my mapping. It seems that a lot of people have been interested in using the mapping, and so I've sent it out to a considerable amount of people, uh, but I don't have like a, a thorough PDF to explain how everything is laid out. It just seems to be a little bit more easy for me to make a video to uh, to show in real time how everything is affected that, that varies from what you would normally get from the uh, the TSI mapping that Newmark originally uh, made for uh, for this. So anyways, um, if you're interested in this mapping, you can private message me. I'll get it to you. Uh, the mapping includes both the NS6 and machine. Machine can be completely taken out or doesn't have to be plugged in at all. It's not going to affect anything whatsoever if all you have is the NS6. So uh, a couple of things that they didn't have on the original mapping. They didn't have platter lights uh, like you're seeing here. See that the platter lights are working, rotating, turns red when you touch it. Kind of worked on the uh, platter sensitivity a little bit, make it a little bit more uh, itch like. Still doesn't have the uh, the sharpness that itch has, but they offer so much as far as effects and everything else that. Um, just depends on your flavor. This might work perfectly for you. Okay, so uh, a couple of things I want to I want to uh, point out here that are different than a standard setup is is uh, effects are a little different. We'll go over that. Uh, I have changed the uh, strip search back to being an actual strip search instead of filter like they have on the NS6 mapping from Newmark. Uh, so it's literally scrubbing through the track as you can see here. Um, the LED lights that used to show where you were at in the track, I'm actually using those as VU meters now. Uh, a lot of people were complaining uh, on the forums that the NS6 had only had master out. There was a Easter egg in there where you were able to look at them. Uh, that's pretty much gone away with uh, uh, the new Serato DJ. So uh, on, on 2.6, on, on, on the way that I have this set up, I have the VU meter for deck A coming through this, the VU meter for deck B coming through here. So when the song's playing, I don't know if you can see it up here, but our VU meter, this is our peak area. I can go ahead and bring that down. You'll see the, the VU meter come down. And when it's completely off, here we go. So. This is what a lot of DJs are looking for, is they want to know that they're not peaking before they actually bring that volume in. They don't want to be clipping their speakers. This is a really good enhancement, in my opinion. Uh, I stole this from uh, Peter Munch, uh, where he was using it with the um, uh, the four track and was just able to incorporate it in here. Uh, a couple of other things that I uh, added in is uh, with 2.6 coming out with flux mode, flux mode uh, working both with loops, platter control if you have a MIDI controller, and also with cues, I wanted to implement that in here. So uh, what I went ahead and did was instead of having the bleep button, uh, I used a, well I used I used the bleep button here as flux mode on and off. So when you see it lit up, that means flux mode is in. You see it off, everything is going to work as normal. Platter is going to work as normal right here. Okay. Loops.
So in flex mode, you've got your cues, you've got your deck control going here, you notice. And the MIDI controller, I can spin this thing back, it's coming back right in real time. Same with the loops. Alright, so enough on flux mode. Everybody's familiar with flux mode. Just wanted you to know it's going to implement it into the NS6. Alright, so as far as our effects are concerned, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so we can focus a little bit here on the effects. Now, on the effects, wet dry, working like it normally would on each perspective deck. Effects A on and off is going to affect the first effect. And your parameter affects the first effect and your effect select affects the first effect. Okay, now if we're getting into effect, in the second effect in effects in, in effects bank one, that's where things get a little different here. The wet dry is still the same, obviously, but if you want to uh, affect the parameter of the second effect, all it is is pressing down the effect select itself and then using the effects parameter and you'll notice that it's working right here. If I release the button, it's back to the first one. Press, it's the second. Release, it's the first. As far as turning on the second effect, these uh, master effects A and B work for each perspective deck. Effects A is going to work for the second one here. Effects B is going to work for the second one over here. Okay, uh, wet dry also has a mod on it. It has a modifier. Using the skip button down here below, uh, if the skip button is in the, if, if you press the skip button, you'll see that the filter is coming on and off. Once the filter is in the on position, the wet dry up here switches to your filter, both low and high. Low, high. A little tricky uh, when using it, just make sure that you're bringing it back to center before you turn it off, since the modifier is set up like that. Uh, when I turn this off, it goes immediately back to wet dry, which means that you are not going to have the ability to bring that filter back to zero unless you mouse click on it. So I just usually bring it back to center before I turn it off, and you're golden. Uh, okay, so so we've talked about the scrub, we've talked about VU meters, we've talked about effects, uh, we've talked about the filters, we've talked about the platter LEDs, uh, the machine. I haven't had a whole lot of uh, requests for the machine itself, and um, it's something that I would be happy to, uh, to do a video on if that was what somebody uh, desired and they wanted to know how to use this uh, incorporated with the NS6. But I'll, just in short, I've got, I've got, I, I've, it's much more advanced than this, but you'll see within in uh, uh, the readout here what you're working on, like this one here is Practor, uh, Tractor Pro Chained Effects. I can use this one to uh, switch. I've got Pro Advanced Effects in here. This one's Sample Decks. This one's Deck A Mixer. This one's Deck B Mixer. Deck C, Deck D, and back. Uh, mainly, I use the Chained Effects, and these first four, Wet, Dry, 1, 2, and 3, on and off for uh, 1, 2, and 3 on effects number one, effects number two over here, uh, and then I have the ability to uh, do hot cues and loops on all four decks right here. You've got uh, deck A, deck B, deck C, deck D. As far as this is set up, I've got uh, the first eight are all hot cues. Okay, so you've got your hot cues. Deleting hot cues is as easy as holding down the note repeat and hitting shift. Turns off, I've got the LEDs all activated with it as well. Uh, so, makes it very intuitive. Uh, and these are set up as loop parameters. So, if I am on, you'll see this is eight, four, two, one, half, quarter, eight, sixteen. I like this a little better than just having two selectors. It gives me a little bit of uh, creativity. You can do 
a whole lot of things with it. I'm just kind of showing you a little bit of what it can do there. So anyways, that's the machine incorporated with the NS6. If you guys have any additional questions, uh, feel free to uh, private message me on uh, YouTube. Uh, hope you enjoy.